Hi, I'm JM, and I'm gonna show you how to turn this into this. Let's go ahead and uncover your two-star general and get started. So on the left-hand side of your two-star general is your pellet hopper. This holds 20 pounds of whatever pellet you choose. The lid folds flush against the side here to make it easy for you. So we wanna change out this hickory in a matter of seconds. Here's how. The quick access pellet door right here. Simply place your bucket or container underneath, unscrew the pellet door, When setting up the main chamber of your two-star general for smoked chicken, everything goes in there. By having the flame zone covers on the flame zone, it makes for indirect heat that goes out and around and over the bird that gives it a nice indirect smoky flavor. When smoking a whole chicken, you're gonna wanna make sure the drip bucket is in place. Here's a close-up look at a brand new drip bucket that comes with your two-star general. The fat renders and it falls from the bird. It slides down to the right side of the main chamber and it falls to the right side of this divider right here you're taking a close look at. It's channeled on the right side of that divider through another channel that drops it right into the drip bucket so you don't have to worry about any mess on your grass, your porch, or wherever your grill is. Let's go ahead and turn on the Mac 2 Star General and put the bird on the grill. This is your pellet boss of the two-star general. This is what regulates the temperature, the auger speed, the fan speed, and we're gonna go ahead and pop that on. But first, I wanna show you this all-star wood pellet cookbook. The recipe we're using is straight from this cookbook, and you can fit many, many birds on here. We're only gonna be doing one and following this recipe to a T. So here we've got our uncooked five-pound chicken that's trussed. First, you wanna rinse it off, pat dry it, and then give it a light coating of olive oil. I've already done that. So now that the grill is preheated, we are ready to put it in the main chamber. This is gonna be delicious. Here we go. Oh, look at that smoke. That's the kind of pellet grill you want. One that smokes right away. We're gonna have a meat thermometer probe inserted into the bird so that we can regulate the temperature when we're inside the house, checking the score of the game or with our family and friends. Here's what a brand new meat probe from Mac Grills looks like. It's got a pointed tip so it inserts cleanly and you can see the construction, the wire there, it can resist high heat. Here's a close look at what their upgraded thermometer, the M2 Armored Probe looks like. This is the one we'll be using today. A bit stiffer on the, uh, on the jack that clicks into the pellet boss. It's got um, an armored end on the probe as you can see. This hole here is designed to let your meat probe through so that you don't have to worry about you know gaps in the, in the vent hood at all. You wanna stick it horizontally into the thickest part of the breast meat. Close the lid and you can plug this in any one of these ports here, one, two, or three. Obviously, we'll just stick it in one. This is the remote boss from Matt Grills. If you like barbecue, this is the accessory for you. The temperature reading is between 150 and 155, which means 
just about 15 minutes away from reaching that magic 165, 170 internal temp. So we're gonna baste the bird. Let's take a close look. Okay, so the temperature reading is at 165 on the remote boss and the pellet boss. The bird is ready to go. I had jacked the temperature up to 400 degrees to give it that crispy charred coloring and flavor we're looking for. I know for many people seeing is believing and even if the bird looks great coming off the grill it's what's inside that people are looking for so let's find out exactly how well cooked and moist this is. Look at that. This is the white breast meat. Look at how moist that is. You might be able to even see the steam rising. absolutely beautiful cooked all the way through let's give that another instant replay that is how you smoke chicken on your Mac grills two-star general now you're smoking